The other prejudice that we faced in the society which is mirrored in the church is the prejudice of discriminating against women. And we notice that the churches speak about priesthood of all believers, but it is typically priesthood of the male believers. It's the priesthood of male believers. And so we realized that God wanted us to champion the cause of releasing women into all positions of leadership in the church. And so we began to engage with scriptures and we know that there is a big debate, complementarian, egalitarian, there's a lot of theological debates going on. But we decided we're simply going to practice the conviction that function and leadership is not based on gender, but it is based on calling and gifting. When we took that position and we began to release women in every sphere of function and leadership in our church, we saw over these 20 years, many women who were like frozen assets in the church now beginning to function in their giftings. So today Powerhouse is a church that does not restrict women in any role or function because of their gender. We see women preach, we see women serve communion, we see women baptize, we see them on our leadership team. And so in many ways, our church has been a radical church that has stood for these values of equality and justice, including the area of gender discrimination, which has been a big challenge and inspiration for many churches who have seen our church and said, wow, if 50% of the population of our church is women and we have kept them as frozen assets, it's time to defreeze them and release them so that the kingdom of God can be advanced and God's glory can fill all this earth.